Hello, today we're playing with improvised guitar pickups again. I have a microwave oven transformer as well as Minotron magnets that I tore out of several microwaves. I have it coming over here and going to the audio input of the stereo. Since the high voltage secondary winding of the transformer is grounded to the case, I have the ground coming over here and going to the shield of the RCA cable. I have the output of the high voltage secondary winding coming over here, going to the low voltage primary winding, and I have it going through that coil, and it comes over here and it goes to the center copper conductor of the RCA cable. I also have the single RCA cable going to a splitter and going to the right and the left speaker. And here you can see by the red needle on the compass how I have the magnets oriented north. And when you bring the compass over here, watch it spin. There it spins. Let's try her out. I have the stereo turned on. Let's stick the jaw harp on there and see what it does. Yeah, you can hear that coming out of the speakers of the stereo. It's not very loud though. Yeah, stick my homemade violin on there. see what kind of voltage this thing is making. I have my meter set up in DC milliamps since that's the lowest rating I could go on there. Let's stick it on there. 26.26. I thought, yeah, there we go. You can see what that's doing, 3 millivolts. Oh, it jumped up to 54 millivolt. Yeah, did you see that 50 millivolt voltage spike when I pulled the jaw harp off of here? That's because when I pulled the jaw harp away, it held the magnetic field together, and this caused a power surge. Those are those huge pops you hear in the speakers sometimes. Yeah, whenever you pull one of these plugs out of a jack or wiggle it around and you hear that popping, that's what's going on. Yeah, the lengths of the wire running to the stereo and speakers, as well as the coil and the speaker cone, cause inductance, which causes it to hold the magnetic field together and have that pulse like that. Just remember, all it takes to generate electricity is a force, a magnet, and a piece of wire. The force or primary mover can be anything. Right here, the primary mover is my hand. Just remember, all you're doing is adding electrons to the copper wire, and it's bumping one off the end. I don't think your college professor is going to explain it that simply to you. So there you have it, improvised guitar pickup. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Remember, always keep it simple and to be creative.